Hey, John. It was nice talking to you yesterday. Um, just wanted to get up this morning and go ahead and shoot you this screencast real quick. What we're going to be going over today is we're going to be going over three things that you need to do to be able to beat your competition. One's going to be content. we got to get content on your site. Two is going to be links or what we call backlinking, and I'll explain that. And then three is going to be what we call citations. Those are the three main factors that if you implement on your site, if you implement on the web, you're going to start beating out your competitors for the keywords that you want for like TMJ, teeth cleaning, all that kind of stuff. So um, let's go ahead and jump through. Um, so what Google likes to see is they like to see about a thousand to 1500 words on your front page. And we start going through that, we can see that you only have about 250 to 300 words on your front page. And why it's important to have content on your front page, John, is that Google doesn't listen to videos. Like I seen you had a video there. They don't listen to videos. They don't get any text from that. They don't know what you do. And so we have to describe what you do on the text of your home page, right? So if we do teeth cleaning, we need to have teeth cleaning on there. If we if we want to be found for dentist, Colorado Springs, we need to have that on there. TMJ, Colorado Springs, we need to have that on there. And if we don't, then Google has no clue whether they should rank you, put you in the searches or not. And um, you know, I, I took the number one keyword that you had here, TMJ Colorado Springs. And I could tell that you guys weren't on the first page, but this Anderson smile was. And when we go through their site, we can tell that they have about 700 words of content on there. Still, still, you know, doable to beat them because we want 1,000 to 1,500. But they do have about 700 on there and they're ranked right there at the top for TMJ of what you guys are trying to go for. Um, but an important factor here as well is that Google doesn't just look at, you know, the text that you and I see right here. They also look like behind pictures, for instance, right here, you hit save as. See that home dentist one PNG? So they're reading that text as well. So it's really important that you do on-site SEO factors that help Google find the keywords that you're trying to rank for as well. When we go to your site, as you can see, that one of your headers doesn't even work here, but let's go to a picture. All right, so picture and then let's keep going. Picture, there you go, save image as banner one. So when Google goes through your site and is looking at your pictures, they're getting banner one, when in all reality, they should be getting Colorado Springs Dentist or Dentist Colorado Springs or TMJ Colorado Springs. Um, one of those keywords should be on there um, and it's not. So the very first thing that we have to do is we have to get you up for the keywords that you're looking for. Like TMJ Colorado Springs, I know that's one of the main things you wanna, you wanna try to, to rank for. But when we come in here, you'll see that there's not very many, just like you told me, you said, hey, there's not a whole lot of people that actually do this. And you're right. If you really look at this um, right here, we got one, two, three. There's four companies in here that really do this besides you guys. But as you can tell, you're not even in here and you're not in here because you don't have the content on your site. So we got to do a full page on TMJ to get you up. Um, that's going to help tremendously. So. The next thing I want to talk to you about, so when we look at this real quick, let's go back real quick. I'm going to explain. So the first thing is obviously the map pack when you look at this. The second thing is this organic, and we're going to be talking about this right now, organic. And to get up in this organic, not only do we need keywords, but we also need what we call backlinks right here. Um, and as you can see with your site, you only have about 15 backlinks. It looks like somebody just started working on your site, like just right now like it had not much work has been done on it at all um so they're just starting to work on it and it looks like they kind of they stopped as well um so they started and they stopped um some traffic has picked up but this is really important you can have traffic pick up but when we go in and look at your keywords you got centennial dental care your, your name, tooth infection, but that's a national keyword, as you can tell, so it's not doing you any good here in Colorado Springs. Um, your business name, business name, business name, Silverstone Family Dental, and you can see what kind of traffic you're getting as well from right here. So you get 25 for Centennial Dental Care, you get 11 from your uh, business name, tooth infection, you get nine, Baluda Family, uh, sorry, I'm murdering your last name there, but um, you get five there, 3.7, and you can see where it starts to go down below one, BPA-free sealants. 
Um, and these are national keywords. So nothing local to Colorado Springs. And then you start hitting the second page and getting really less than one person um, per month on your page. So the first good keyword that I see um, would be this one for new, obviously our jobs to pull in new patients. So family dentistry, Colorado Springs, there's 150 searches a month. Um, it's a 12 KD and you're in on the second page for that. Um, that's the closest keyword that I see that you're anywhere to be ranked in Colorado Springs. Now, if we look at Anderson, right, because we're comparing against them since they're the top for TMJ, they have 259 backlinks compared to your 15. Um, and then keyword wise, they have Dentist Colorado Springs, which gets 1600 search volume and they're getting 87 traffic from that. And they're in the fifth position. Teeth Whitening Colorado Springs, 150 searches, they're getting 55 people from that and they're in the first position. Dental Colorado Springs CO, 250 searches and they're in the third position. Dental Office, 300 searches and they're in the fifth position. Um, and you can see the traffic that they're getting right here. So as you can tell, they're getting these buyer intent keywords on there, which is bringing them in new patients, which is what we want to do for you as well. Um, a lot of keywords out there that we can target, including TMJ, right? Teeth cleaning, TMJ, teeth whitening. All of those are really good for new patients. Family dentistry, good one for new patients. Um, so we want to go back and do that. And we do that by getting what we call backlinks so let's go back here so as you can tell let's go back here on you so you have 15 backlinks and they have 259 in order for us to get you up for the keywords once we get the content on your site in order to get you up for those keywords we have to go out and get what we call backlinks right we have to get other sites in the dental industry or health industry linking back to you to say that you're the best dentist in Colorado Springs. Um, you know, uh, this is not an easy task. This is really where the SEO really kicks in is to be able to find these, these, these links. Because the, the way that links are set up, John, is like it's a popularity contest. If you go back to high school, right, you remember the popular kid in school and everybody was pointing at him saying, hey, he's got the best shoes, he's got this, he's got that. And what that does is that makes him more popular. His parents get him a nice car or whatever it may be, or he goes and earns that car. It just makes him more and more popular with more and more people pointing at him. But there's some kids that sit out in the hallway that smoke cigarettes that point at him that don't give him as much clout, right, as uh, uh, another basketball player that he might be on the basketball team with. So we have to go after relevant links as well. So we need to go and get more links than your competitors, which they have 259. And we have to get relevant links in the health industry pointing back to you to say that you're the most, you know, powerful or the best dentist in the area. Um, so that's number two. And then so we talked about content, right? We talked about getting links to get up in the organic. And now I want to talk about this map pack right here to get up in this. So once we have the content, once we have the links, then it goes back to a thing I call citations. We need to get your name, address, and phone number exactly as it appears on Google out in directories like Yelp, Yex, CityStar, BBB, all over the place, all over the web. And that's pretty much, it, it pretty much builds your foundation out. It pretty much is going to allow or show Google that you've been around for a while and that a lot of people know about you. Um, and it's your exact name, address, phone number. We call it the NAP. Um, as it appears on Google. Um, so when we put you guys in, you have 29, which is really good. Um, if we got that content on there, that would help. But if you look at Ander Anderson Family Dental, they're at 36. Um, and we need to be able to go out and get those citations. So it's really easy for us to find what your competitors have in citations. And we can go out and get those, submit your business to those citations as well on directories like Yelp, Yex, City Star, et cetera. Um, I got a couple cool tools, obviously, right, right here. This one's whitespark.ca. It's really cheap, 15 bucks a month, but it allows me to see all the citations so I can go out and actually submit your business to them as well. That way we're matching the competitors, but we don't want to stop there. We want to just add more and more to really beat them out. And that goes the same for links here. If we want to copy or not copy, but find out where your competitors are getting their links, then we can come in here and actually look at it and then go duplicate these links as well. So it'll tell me exactly where the links are coming from 
And if we find that they're a good link in the health industry, we can copy those links. And then the links that they're getting that are no good, we want to leave alone and we want to get something better than that for your site. It's going to, sooner or later, it's going to start beating them out um, and you're going to push yourself straight to the top. So the three things that I went over with you today, John, are um, content. we got to get the content up on your site, no doubt about that. Um, content and the on, on-site SEO factor, saving your pictures correctly, all, all the meta, meta descriptions, etc. And then once we have the content done, we need to jump right into getting you backlinks because you only have 15 right now. We definitely need to get that up. Um, we need to beat your competitors. I believe they're at 259 for this guy. Um, so content, links, and then citations to really get you up here in the map section and actually get you found we need to get you more citations, right? We want to go out and find your top five competitors, see where they're sitting on all their citations. This guy, Anderson, was actually really low uh, when it comes to citations. Some of the other dentists that I looked at, they were sitting at about 150 citations. So we definitely want to go after more and more citations to really build that foundation out for you, you and your family. Um, but with that, if you need to get back a hold of me, John, you know my number, 719-505-6065. It was good talking to you today. I hope this explained a little bit of what needs to get done and how you can start beating your competitors online. We'll talk to you soon.